strength and blessings out there. This is executive creator Alexander Asafa of Brotherhood Language Approaching Conversation Kinetically About Fiction, a.k.a. Black AF. I'm here to tell you about the Anchor app. Let me explain. Let's get right to it. Number one, the Anchor podcast app is free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. You can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many, many, many more. You can make money from your podcast right now with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started right now. This is Brotherhood Language Approaching Conversation Kinetically. My name is Alexander Asafa, and this is Black as F. Brotherhood Language Approaching Conversation Kinetically About Fiction. This, 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 this. Um, next question. How many times are we going to mention uh, <laughs> Robbie Patterson's Batman movie in this one episode? Want to take a guess? Oh, I wouldn't have mentioned it at all if you didn't bring up that goofy, sparkling vampire ass nigga. Man, <laughs> you know how? Fine, 17. You're going to talk about his. We're going to say him 17 times. Is that close? <laughs> it ain't far. <laughs> it's not far, nigga. It's not. It's not. Um, according to We Got This Covered, uh, Robert Patterson wants, uh, walk, he walked off the set because of director um, Matt Reeves. Um, is he tall enough to do this? Is my question to you. Like, I, look, man, I don't look, I don't know much about homeboy. I liked him. I liked him in Tenet. He, he was dope in Tenet. I liked him in Tenet. But before that, you got to understand, only thing I knew about him is he was some little pasty heartthrob that was in all those shit fuck vampire flicks that suck balls. So... I don't give a fuck what happens to this Batman movie. I don't care if he's on it. I don't care if it comes out. As far as I'm concerned, there's only two Batman, two real ones. The rest of these niggas is imposters. So I don't care yeah, what happens to this Batman movie. It's funny you mention that because uh yeah, you know what? I'll just wait because we're gonna mention uh Mr. Robert Patterson at least a few more times. I like can't I really said, give away. Like I said, I don't have nothing against dude directly, but I do have something against the fact that them Twilight movies blew up. Like, it's some of the worst drivel that I've ever seen and or read, because you know that came from a novel. And so because of that, he is stuck with the stigma of being a sparkly fucking vampire. And, and if he becomes Batman, I just hope Batman ain't pulling glitter out of his fucking utility belt. That's all I'm going to say. Next to the shark repellent? Nigga. <laughs> Shout out to Lego Batman, by the way. It's still like top five Batman movies around. I don't care what anybody says. And, and more Robert Pattinson news. He oh, doesn't God. want Ben Affleck as Batman in the DCEU wow. anymore. Uh, <laughs> you hear it? Can you hear this? Tell me you can hear this. I he heard it. <laughs> He's like, you, you want me to translate? Fuck that bitch ass sparkly vampire ass nigga. You ain't got no saying nothing. You ain't hey. got no saying nothing. <laughs> Listen, um, his 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 uh his gamer tag, your dog's gamer tag is now Ace from Batman Beyond. He's Bruce Wayne's old dog, nigga. That's his new name, Ace. <laughs> That's what we call him, Ace. Ace, Wolf. Get him. Wolf. Um Yeah, he does he wants to be the only Batman. In this fuck show that is the DCEU, according to the report when we got Who discovered. Who the fuck is he? You're a goddamn actor, dude. Like, everybody out here trying to be LeBron James. You're not the player, the GM, and the coach. Nigga, you're an actor. Come in there, do what you need to do. Shut the fuck up, collect your money, and then do the sequels. If your bullshit DC fucking movie is good enough to warrant a sequel, which I highly motherfucking doubt, because Zack Snyder ain't doing it. Facts. Facts. I can't believe I wouldn't have said that four years ago. I would never have said that, but look, man, I, it's all I believe now. Look, man, 
He's already shown improved. Zack Snyder takes shitty movies and turns them into dope miniseries. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> uh, like I said, I have nothing against Sparkly Vampire because he was good in Tenet, but there's way more Sparkly Vampire movies than there are Tenet sequels. So fuck that. Right. He, ain't, he ain't got no say. He got to make a string of about six or seven dope-ass movies to nullify that fucking vampire bullshit that he came out with. And so at least, you, at least sixteen hours worth of Batman is what bro, you're saying. If you've never, if you've <laughs> never seen, if you've <laughs> never seen any of those movies, I invite you to watch at least one of them. And I think they're all on Amazon Prime. Watch one of those movies, and you will understand why I'm so goddamn disgusted. So talking about Twilight. Oh my god, I hate that shit. Like I, you don't understand. Like that shit makes my stomach hurt. And and this, I'm gonna sound real. I'm going to sound real petty. I'm going to sound real petty right now. But the Twilight movies, the first ones came out, I was still living in the shack. Okay? I broke up with somebody over that shit. Over a That's Twilight a, movie? Nigga, over Twilight. Like, I'm not fucking kidding. Because I am a writer by trade. I get paid to do this. And... Oh, oh, these books is great. These Stephanie Meyer's books is great. Like, and that's the woman who wrote them. Stephanie Meyer, I believe, is her name. And I love the vampire mythos. So she gave me one of these books, and I was like, you reading this trash? Like, you need to watch CNN, bitch. Like, get your life together. This shit is terrible. Like, this shit is trash. And then they made it into a fucking movie. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny, y'all. That shit is the worst, man. Like, that shit is the worst. Uh, um, did you get a next Netflix password before she... No, because you... Yeah, the only you got thing, your Netflix, own. Netflix wasn't even out back then, bro. This is how long ago this shit, this shit was like <laughs> years ago. This shit was years ago. Like, man, I yeah, I it. never, I never fuck with Twilight. Um, Don't. Never, well, I yeah. actually do, so you can understand why I'm so. I, I'll watch one, sure. You know, and while Robert Pattinson doesn't have, uh, he shouldn't say shit. I mean, just, he was just, a Harry Potter for a hot second, you know, but he was. Was yeah, but he didn't have a big enough role for it to. He hasn't done enough work to erase the, the sparkly vampires. Yeah, so not. what you're saying is Robert Patterson's still on Batman probation right now. Is that what you're saying? Man, look, let's just be honest. Do you really think that Batman movie is going to do well? Like, do I think it's going to be a good movie or is it going to sell? Is it going to be things? a good movie? No, no. And I like Matt Reeves, but no, no. Right. So at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? I understand. Like, I hate to go keep going back to basketball using the basketball analogy. No, nah, that's a part but, of this fucking show. But I understand exactly why <laughs> LeBron James is able to do what LeBron James fucking does. LeBron James is a player. He's the coach. He's the GM. He's a motherfucking scout. He's all of those things. I understand why LeBron James is that. But a nigga like Ben Simmons can't never tell nobody nothing about what he wants to do when he can't shoot free throws and he's scared to dunk on a 6-1 nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's Robert Time Pattinson. You know did, you just, did you just call Robert Pattinson the new Batman Ben Simmons? Did you just fucking... Is that is that the connection you just fucking made? Yeah. Is that what you said? You know why? Because when he was in Tenet, he was amazing, right? Right? Ben Simmons should be amazing. You a 6'10 nigga with handles like a guard, right? Same thing. Same fucking thing. Robert this Pattinson is... needs to step his free throws up. <laughs> step his scoring up before he can talk about making decisions in the DCU. And the DCU is trash. DCU is fucking trash. And you still can't talk shit. Man, nigga, you better ask Gal Gadot. Hey, Gal, what you think I should, you know, don't just be stepping out talking and shit. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. This do is why movie, I do the show. Yo, this is do your movie do the and show. shut the fuck up, bro. Like, seriously. Like, don't nobody care about you want to be the only Batman. Oh, man. This is why I do the show. Basketball and movies all coming together. This nigga got me mad right now. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, want, I want to be the only Batman. Like, shut the fuck up, you sparkly motherfucker. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's keep it pushing. Because we got more Robert Patterson on the way. Oh, my God. What are you doing to me? 
Yeah, he was so fun. You and these meta puns this week? That's how he <laughs> you, you, Why are you going to turn the camera off? What? Listen, I was reading. You mad at me for reading me? You can't be mad at me for reading. I watch CNN. I, I, I'm, I'm from the hood, too. <laughs> you remember that skit? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. I can't oh. believe it. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, people really be thinking they mad important, yo. Oh. Like, that's your job, Joe. That is your job to go and do make the fucking film. Okay, go oh, make man. the motherfucking film and shut the fuck up. Like, seriously. <laughs> uh well, let's Cause, uh because right now he hasn't done any Batman, right? He hasn't been Batman yet. He hasn't nothing's come out. So you're under the George Clooney Batman. Like, you are literally the worst Batman because you haven't done anything yet. Shut the fuck up. Right. Now, if Michael, now if Michael Keaton came out and said, you know, I'm trying to do the Michael Keaton eyebrows. Get rid of all the Batman. Uh, he can... He can say whatever the argument. fuck he want. Right. Christian Bale, uh, uh, you know. Right. Maybe. He'd have to let Bale in. They'd be like, no, 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 I got Nolan. You, I'm walking into this motherfucker. Right. I got my ID. I right. got my ID. Oh, right. He got in before 10, 10, he gets in for free, you know. But the rest right. of them dudes, George Clooney, Val Kilmer, with, with the Batman with the nipples on the suit. Robert no. Pattinson is with that group of people because he has not done anything yet with that. Like, shut the fuck up. Nobody even knows you any good. You know what? Ben Affleck, let's, I'm going to be fair. I'm going to say Ben Affleck is the third best Batman. Third best. When you're talking about the movies. We're not talking about the animated series and all that. Just the movies. I'm going to say Ben I'm with Affleck that. is number three. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. But I, Robert, I don't have a Robert, problem Pattinson, at all. Robert Pattinson shouldn't even open his fucking mouth. Shut up. <laughs> you wired little sparkly piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just makes all the sense now that you actually broke up with a chick. Man, no, you know, you know what it is, man. You know, you know what it is. Like, I ain't even gonna get into it because you can't be a fucking idiot. Don't be dumb. The shit was stupid. It was terrible, and then everybody was eating that shit up. And I get called a hater because I'm sitting there looking at it objectively. Like, this is just really fucking bad writing. That's funny, y'all. That's fucking funny. According to We Got Discovered, Robert Patterson's Matt Reeves Batman movie is over three hours long. Why do you keep bringing up this Robert Pattinson, man? Yo, every other day they had some new shit on this motherfucker, man. And I was just like, God damn. Like, just make the goddamn... They've been making this three-hour movie for three years. Look, man... If the movie is good, if the movie is good, I'm not going to care about the length of the movie. All of the Lord of the Rings movies was pushing three hours. And they were but you're a Lord of the Rings fan, though, right? Like, you walked in being a fan? Yes? At, at some level, because of, you know, the literature aspect, having read the Tolkien stuff. But right. even, even still, you know how sometimes stuff does not transfer well from the literature oh. to, to the movie side. So. Yeah. Um, they could have still fucked it up. Yeah. And it just so happens that I think the guy was Peter Jackson, whoever made that. He did a good job. Of, uh, those movies was long, but he did a good job of injecting enough to, like, to keep you fucking interested. Yeah. He injected enough good shit because Lord, like, Lord of the Rings is a very wordy novel, man. Like, that should make you fucking, like, if you're not really into that kind of stuff, you fall asleep reading it. No problem. So like when they, <laughs> no seriously, I actually got look real story. I like I like the, the the story. I actually got through it at a young age. But when I was young, when I had a problem falling asleep, that's what I would do. Is I would either try to read some what I considered at the time to be a boring story, or listen to those old school Alfred Hitchcock joints on the radio. Those things would put me to sleep. You know, and then you get, you get you get older, and it's like you appreciate the shit, but. You know, they could have fucked that movie up, but they didn't. Uh, they did it right. Visually, it looked great. I mean, they had great actors. 
So I don't mind the movie being three hours if it's good. I think what's the name was three hours and it was good. The the Avengers flick that last one was close to three. Um, yeah, that, I think that was yeah, I think that was a three twelve actually. Right. That did not feel like three hours because of the way they did it. But no. No. I, and I almost want to say they set that up properly before we actually got to the theater. Like you kind of knew they needed to take some time and get all this shit sort of sorted out. Yeah, because they split it up into two parts. And then the first part of that was long, over right. two hours. So yeah. you knew that you were walking into something that was going to be pretty thick. Not to mention the fact. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that you had 20 plus other movies to leading up to that point. So you knew, oh man, they got to be. So, I mean, I don't mind a movie being three hours long. It's good. But no, four, four hours, that's pushing. The niggas got lives. I got shit to do. I got to like wash clothes, you know, wash the dishes, it, you know, that kind of shit. I ain't got time for that. It, it, no, like, look, Snyder's verse of Justice League is the best thing DC's done in their EC, their DCEU, like for sure. But in no form or fashion should any movie be four hours because it doesn't work in the theater and it damn sure don't work at home. Like that took up the entire Saturday for me. And that was my second attempt to watch the entire thing. So nah, it, 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 that's out, that's out. Bro, me trying to be a good co-host, I'm watching it the day we had a show. And I'm fitting it in through meetings and shit. Like, I literally finished that movie. If right, I, it's if an I extra work day. <laughs> no, if I, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I finished that movie at least maybe an hour or two before we had to do this. Right, and you get, what, you started six or something like right. that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. that's, that's about right. That's about right. I started watching it on a Saturday, uh, you know, it was like X-Men went off at 10 and I started at 10.30 because I didn't, just kept the ball rolling. I didn't watch X-Men, but that's just how I watched it. Like, 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 your approach, your conversation, everybody about fiction. This, 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 this